What's up, y'all? It's Empress Watson, and I'm here for you to learn tarot with me. Um, this is titled He's Back or They're Back because it's this bull that came back, <laughs> and they're back. They're back, and it seemed like they're stopping at nothing. But uh, we about to see who back, what they back for, what they talking about, what they trying to do, and what their agenda is today. Okay, y'all. So let's bless these dare cards. And you know, the the little moon started yesterday, pissed me off because it's like I came in the house, I seen it. I came in the house, and you know, I goes back outside. Whole thunderstorm outside, like just just thunderstorming everywhere, like. Whatever, I'm I'm so irritated by that. I was so irritated. It, I wasn't ready. I didn't even, I usually smell the rain. I didn't even smell the freaking rain. That's why I think I'm so irritated. Please, spirit and angels, please protect us now. Please protect us now. So what's up, y'all? How y'all doing? What y'all talking about? Where y'all going? What y'all been up to? How y'all life been? How y'all toes doing? So how y'all doing? And um, thank you for everybody who do like, review, or say anything to me. A review or a like or a share is, you don't never have to say nothing to me because that says a lot. So please like, share, and subscribe. Yay! Let's get it popping, dog. Let's get it popping because I want to know who's back. How the heck you going to come back doing this doggone move and irritate my soul? Why my soul? Why you want to irritate my soul like that? So, and, and we're using uh, Mr. Egypt today because Mr. Egypt going to get us together. And we're about to get some energy with this. This is my energy oracle. I love these cards. My energy oracle cards. I'm going to try to put it, put something out every time I just fill it. Because I'm getting this Hold on. I get some energy for my cancer day, y'all. Cause can you give me some energy for these cups? Oh, let me know if y'all want me to do. Uh, well, y'all only can really email me. But let me know if y'all want me to do another cup sign. If anybody got an idea on another cup sign that they would like for me to do, I am open. Right now, I'm doing my piece, my piece, my people. The Cancer Leo Cubs. Let's see what's going on out here. Look at, look at Archangel uh, Michael. He, he, he being a hacker again. See? There we go. Happy family. Oh, come on now. We're not about to do this. Okay? We're not about to do this with your spirit. Or this person. Or the bull. Everybody about to play these games with the bull. You out for a reason. Don't come back after you done went through indecisions. <laughs> You've been in all of this indecisions. Now you bring your butt over here to get on my nerve. And this was in reverse. And these oracle cards have reversal meaning. So I'm going to do one more card. You give me one more card. And this ain't even supposed to be no old love reading. This is the um, their back reading. So this person, this is this person, and you, this you and this person, like, you want you a happy ever after, clearly this person is still mentally disturbed, I'm not gonna call them mis mentally disturbed, I apologize, but they're mentally disturbed, can I send out energy, <laughs> Angel of love. But look, this heart, this heartbreak had came out too. I'll leave it. Broken heart. So see like somebody went and got their little old heart broken. Or somebody is um stressed out. Or somebody has passed in somebody's life look like. Somebody passed, somebody broke your heart. 
somebody then broke your person heart, a friend's heart. Somebody heart broke, y'all. But here go the angel of love. Look at this little happy family over here. Are we about to read about this indecisions in reverse. What they get this? Let's see what he got to say. This is what I'm using. Energy Oracle cards. And I want to make my own cards. I really have really, 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 really been thinking about it. And I said I was going to have my daughter come up with the the pictures. But, um, and you know, I'm about to start putting more, different pictures here than my daughter do. And some of them she's selling. So, you know, it's whatever. Let me know you want to buy a picture. Indecision in reverse is congratulations. Oh, dang. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> this card reverse indicates a newfound freedom from indecisions you have either recently made or are just about to make an important decision. This is an important time, so bring a clear so bring a clarity of consciousness to your new direction. Oh, okay. The fragment and confusion energy that you've been sending out is gone and now you can bring new structure to your plans in your life. You may not have known what to do in the past, but your soul has been trying to guide you all along. Open up to the potential of this time and create some clear and powerful intentions regarding your new choice. Then let yourself move forward with purpose and personal power. Oh, okay. So guess what? Who, 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 whoever this is, because can't say it can be you. You done figured it out. You done made your mind up. You two turned up. Didn't G? So you turned up. You got a happy family over here. You want to have you a little family. You you out of your head about the decisions of your person or this person or somebody. Or the bull. The bull. They're back. The person that's back. He not in his head. He or she is not in their head no more. They done, they done made their mind up. They know what they want. Somebody grieving. It was a heartbreak. This was a heartbreak situation to you. This situation with this person broke your heart. Why this car looks stupid? Oh, okay. <laughs> this person could have broke your heart. This person could have broke your heart. Or, you know, you didn't dealt with some type of death. Or you're grieving a lot. Or, you know, you were some type of pain. You still got that little bit of pain buried down in you. So continue to heal this. Okay. And this angel of love. I don't feel like reading what she want. Like, ugh, I'm so sick of love with y'all cancer. With us cups. We all confused. But we need it. It's our time. It's our time. I'm going to leave this out though. Because it's pretty. It's our time. I made up my mind. It's official. I'm about to bag them. But you know what? It's sad to say that it's the bull. I hate that I got to say it's the bull back because I just reconnected with a bull from my childhood. Another bull from my childhood. Ain't that crazy? But um, it ain't going as far as no sex or nothing. But I ain't going to act like the man ain't handsome. I know I ain't saying he ain't fine. But he's really been training me and getting me, you know, he got me on my workout stuff. And then I realized that he's a bit lazy. But he's cool. He's real, real cool. And he's from my childhood. And it's really good to actually see him. And I, I say my dad sent him because he's the child of one of my dad's close friends. And he's a child I didn't even know the close friend even had. Because... I knew the close friend. He was so cool. And he always had his dog on kids. So I just then found out that he's a cancer. I was like, hey. <sighs> I want to clarify these cards. Do y'all want to clarify these cards? I'm going to go live one day. I don't know why. 
weird, whatever. I be too goofy. But you know, I don't edit nothing. Whatever it is, whatever go down, y'all get it. I throw it up like love me or leave me. But I'm clarifying these cards. Because this old happy card keeps irritating me. Getting on my nerves. Oh, happy card. Happy family. Well, me and my children, we are happy. I'm not <laughs> I'm not about to uh, get mad, but I, I think I'm hating a little bit because of this man down here and I am so single. But guess what, though? They back, and they back for something. So let's see what they back for. Let's see what they want. So, Spirit, you're going to have to tell us what this person came back for and what they want. And they... Ooh. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. They they back and and they not playing with you and it look like they gonna fight. That's what the sword mean. We let chocolate here, oh. but they back. They ready to fight. And I don't know. We gonna have to read more about that later. This is what they this this what they about to come back and do. Can you clarify this happy person? This happy family for us, ancestors. Can you clarify this happy family? Oh, the audacity. Oh, we getting ignorant in these streets, okay? Yes, my cups. We lit. We lit, cups. Can you, can you give me one more card? I don't even need another card for that. Can you clarify this indecisions in reverse for us? Oh. Ooh, the ancestors walk with us. Oh, this is kid and cups. What's in here? I don't even know what to do. I can't even believe this is popping out like this. Y'all, I'm just excited as y'all. Y'all not excited? I'm excited. I hope y'all excited. I need to go live because I'll be talking to y'all like we live. Can you clarify this heart, bro? Heart, broken heart. Can you clarify this broken heart for us? And sister? Can you clarify? Aww, temperance. Can you clarify this angel of love for us? Can you clarify this angel of love for us? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so let me show you. You had a sun. I mean, shit. The star clarifying. Excuse me. A happy family. Then we had the king of cups. In reverse, though. Clarified indecisions. Ain't that a coincidence? Then you had a temperance card in reverse, clarifying this heart, broken heart. And then you got Big Daddy, the Ace of Cups, um, clarifying Angel of Love. So, what y'all think? Because I'm just so happy this thing came out like this. Like, I just feel a little mushy. Okay, so. I, I don't know what I was saying right now. I'm so shocked. Because if this person is really back for all of these cups and these hearts and this love. And they, this person seems like they back and they're genuine. Or, 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 or. This could be two people. The, the person that's in decision is the king of cups, meaning he still got a little bitty TikTok in him that ain't right. And then the person, the other person, the angel of love, he ready. He ready to get married. Look at that ring on his finger. I do. <sighs> okay, let's go to the star. Because Mother, Mother Nature needs to sprinkle us right now. Sprinkle us, Mother Nature. Sprinkle us. Sprinkle us because this is this is deep. And it look like if I just straight up read it, but y'all know what y'all know what I have a problem with the star. The star and the sun card I always get it mixed up in my freaking head. So if the star is clarifying the happy family to my understanding what the star is. The universe is about to bring this relationship. They're about to give you what you want. But see, I got to see what the star means. I keep forgetting. And this is one of the major cards that I don't believe I should be forgetting. But you know, we learning. We figuring it out. 
And it says healing, optimism, hope, inspiration, liberation, replenishment, compassion, release, renewal, and faith. And you okay, okay, okay. Now I now, now you see now I can read. You still believe in this. Everything that happened to you, it didn't cause you to forget who you was or what you wanted. You still believe in a happy family, cancer. And the universe said, you still can have it. That is so sweet. Oh, my God. It's so sweet. You live, Pooh. And this go don't don't give up on it. Don't let what happened to you in the past um, distract you from it. Don't let nobody tell you you ain't worthy of it. Don't let nobody make you believe you don't deserve it. Or don't let your shadow confuse you. Don't let your shadow say fuck you. Okay, that's what I'm gonna say. Cause you know the shadow is very very disrespectful, and the shadow never goes away. You think that you think your shadow gone? No. And you know what I say? I gave her a name and a location. She in my big toe. And her name is a dark horse. Because I seen her. And when I met her, I, I met her crazy butt. And then I booked my butt up and went to Texas. Because I'm like, I, I don't, I, I ain't never met this chick in my dog on life when I met her. I know I might sound crazy. But my shadow is like my shadow work that I'm doing. Don't ever think she ever, he or she is ever going to go away. He always want to get into bull crap. It's like your teenage self times 10. That's who your shadow is. It's your reality. It's like the, the true you. Either you going to meet her head on or you going to run from her. And excuse me, I'm drinking my coffee. Because it's like 6 o'clock in the morning or something. So the universe didn't ordain this love. The universe told you this is coming. And you keep doing your work. And we're going to keep on blessing you. And when you keep on, you keep the faith and the belief in the universe that got you. As long as you're doing your good karma and you're doing your good work, it's going to come. And if some people might be looking like, but I'm 50. So I don't care how old you is. As long as you get it. As long as you get it. Look at this king. Let's see what this cup, king of cup, talking about. King of cups in reverse now. Okay, depression, aloofness, neediness, aggression, imbalance, cruelty, and empathy. And that's what this king of cups is. This person been in indecisions. He's clear now. He been like this all this time. He had this bundle of love in him too. I believe this person really had this bundle of love in him. Because he wouldn't have came out of the cup if he didn't. So he had this bundle of love. She or she, he or she, sorry, he or she. She had it in her. She just didn't know where to go. That's why she was indecision. But guess what? The indecisions came out in reverse just like this, this low vibration uh, cup. And... He got, it seemed like he made his decision. And now it seemed like he ready to have a romance, maturity, love, calm, focusing. He just might be ready. She just might be ready. But you won't know until you see. You won't know until you talk to him. And that, that king of swords, that ace of swords at the bottom, they coming to find out. Either they coming to find out if you with the shits or they coming to find out if you... You're not with the shits. I mean, I could put it as simple as that. They want to know. What is, what, what is this? Hell, I want to know too. And there, this heartbreak is being tempered, seem like. Let's figure out the tempers card. I hate to down to see this. See, it's just cards I need to just really focus on. That's just behuses me on what they mean it's like some of these cards all mean something to me so i get them twisted like the heart and stuff that must be twisting my head temperance in reverse is imbalance stagnation confusion disconnection addiction lack of focus lack of boundaries and it's in reverse 
with the heartbreak card. I'm, I, you know, I'm gonna look at this. Y'all tell me what y'all think of me clarifying in a heartbreak, but, but you know that means grief too. You could be depressed, and it means grief, and you could be moped out. I really believe with this. Excuse me. I think a lot of us still have grief in us from something, or heartbreak in us from something, and it hasn't healed. I think that's what's going on here. I just, that's that's what I'm getting here. Like it's it's still it's not gone. The heartbreak with the he's back, she's back, whoever it is. I think you still got that with them. You still grieving that. Y'all haven't tempered that yet. Uh the loss of someone, you haven't found your balance with that yet either. Uh, loss of a job, loss of anything, loss of something real tragic, a pet, whatever. Y'all haven't found your balance with it yet. It, it, it still bothers you. It sounds sad. It really sad. And it distracts you, seem like. Because it say lacks of focus. So it distracts you. And this person. This person still could be in balance. A little bit and that's where the stagnation and stuff comes in with that person so this still could be a little messed up going on around here for you and um they could y'all still could be in y'all emotions about each other and that's probably why they're back they probably back to settle the score back to get you back back to apologize so they can move on because you know they probably got that gut grief that good hurt on what they did to you so they're not able to move on because they, they they have to ask to be forgiven so they can release you they soul hasn't released you because they never asked to be forgiven it, it happens now it happens and we got the ace of clubs clear and fine it's love but you know what? i'm gonna go on and look up this damn angel of love and I, I, I ain't trying to sound like no damn hater, but you know, love too many times. Get to irritating me. I don't need to be like that. Okay, angel of love. This beautiful angel comes with roses in her hair and rose-colored wings. Oh, <laughs> She holds a rose court heart. Aww. I'm going to get me one. Radiating tender and loving vibrations bringing you compassion and affection if you're looking for new love this angel brings a message god damn it don't play with me did not just did, don't play with me this angel brings a message of its upcoming approach or if you're longing for a deeper more intimate connection with someone already in your life she's here to say that far greater tenderness is available to you either way remember that your first intention for tenderness must be directed inward Ooh, beast beast and the compassion that you demonstrate toward what yourself will influence the energetic potential of these events in a significant way the angel of love is smiling on you and forging connections in the energetic realm so you know what cancer leo cups all y'all about y'all whatever you being set up i this is didn't i just say this this might be another person and this is another person this is most definitely another person I don't care what nobody tell me. Ain't nobody about to tell me. Oh, you can see my ring through here. Look. Okay. Whatever. But this is a totally different person. And you know what? This other person got, got his mind right. He or she. She she got her dog on mind right. She know what she wants. She know who she wants. She know what she going in her life. She know where she works. She got her job grounded. She got her crib together. She got her car together. She just need. She just need. She just need that damn. She need that man. Okay. That's all she need. She just need you, Cancer. And Cancer, that's you. You just need them. So this can be you. This can be another person coming to holler at you. This can be you. And this can be somebody coming to holler at you too. We don't know. Now do we? We just don't know. We don't know, Cancer. 
Because we out here trying to function. I was banging that mess the other day all day. I didn't care what nobody say. That man, every light I stopped at, I'm, I was telling everybody, like, come on now. We get turned up around here. This time banging like this, and y'all sit. It's all these money in this streets, and y'all sitting up here looking like who's driving Miss Daisy? Man, if you don't get lit. Because we out here trying to function. We out here trying to function. And this old pandemic, I'm so sick of hearing. Hey, hey did y'all watch Love and Medicine or whatever the hell? Atlanta, Love and Medicine. Now, listen, for a minute, I was mad at Toya. You know, but she from the D. I be having Toya back, but sometimes I just be wanting to smack her like, Toya, snap out of it. But she talking about, don't tell me nothing else about no COVID. I felt that. I don't want to hear nothing else about COVID. I know a lot of people didn't die. I do. I know people didn't die. I know things that went on with COVID. But because I'm in the industry, I seen it. I seen it. I, it, it it's, it's messed up. And people gone. Y'all, people gone. But I can't take it no more. I, I can't. Like, I'm ready. And then, I can't still go. I was supposed to go to Egypt. I was going to fucking Egypt because I'm turning 40. I was going to Egypt. So, first, my friend told me I got to call and see if I got to get vaccines. Old dude said, no, I ain't got to get vaccines. So, I'm like, okay, cool. It's a go. Then they talked about when I come back, I was going to be quarantined for two weeks. Who? Who? Where? And who else? I'm not about to get quarantined nowhere. Then come to find out, they don't really like us Americans over there that much, especially now that this pandemic then popped off. So it's like, I got to get quarantined when I get there. You got me fucked up. I'll see you. And then I called my uh, African friend and I told him, he said, well, he ain't going home till 22. So I'm like, I guess I'm going home with you then because... If the African ain't going home, why the fuck would I take my ass over there? I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. If the African don't go, I don't go. But, so, I'm choosing to go, like, out of town every month. Fuck it up. I don't care. Can we clarify this star card for us? Oh, well, then that came out very fast. Oh, the two of cups in reverse. So, now, it's it's... It's just family on top of family on top of family on top of family. This person wants a fucking family, a relationship, unity. They, they want to share their cup and stuff now. Somebody, either this the new person or the old person. Somebody ain't playing with you. Let's see. Let's see. Let's be nosy today. You know, since the moon pisses me off. It's supposed to come back out tonight, though. So we're going to see what kind of rituals y'all are doing tonight. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. I'm doing me a money ritual. I want the cash. And I say that to say I want the cash because this is an abundant time and the will of fortune is rolling around and around and around. So you might as well do your money ritual. Can you clarify who this two of cups is? Okay, okay. You said what you said. Two lovers. Look at this. In reverse. Now, listen, listen, listen. Take away the low vibrating stuff, and we just going to make the reversal of your person and how your person feel about you. We just going to do that like that. This, 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 this is what they, it's a divine counterpart. This is somebody, this is somebody from your past. And although this person can be that too, this is your, um, I can't even, I can't even call it. This is your divine connection. This is a divine connection. The universe put this together. Do you see the sun? You see her? She didn't shine down on this connection. She didn't certify and solidify this freaking connection, y'all. So, this deep. Look at all of this love and that one little side right there. I don't need no say. But we can read it in reverse and somebody done lost the love somewhere. Somebody lost their two of cups somewhere. Somebody went on bad. And we can look at it at your low vibration or stuff. Uh, you're not doing it what you have to do to get this two of cups. You're not doing what you got to do. You keep talking about what somebody else needs to do. You ain't doing what you're supposed to do to get the two of cups. And then this, this lovers in reverse, you got to take part in what you messed up. 
in this divine connection to our camp family. We're not about to sit up here and act like just because we the mother and father of astrology that we get a pass on this. Y'all know who what I just learned? Like my number one uh, tarot card reader when I first started watching tarot, when I the first person I could take uh, connected with was Queen Cup. So she did a video on the moon and how she basically been purging and crying and she just been so dark. And I 100% I felt her. Like, I almost cried through the phone because I really felt her. And she said somebody called her and said that they woke up and they just had all of this energy and they was this and this and that and that. And I'm like, I swear to God, that's what had happened to me. You would have think... I was really a schizo because I went to bed one way. I woke up the next morning. I was lit. I was in these streets, okay? I was in these streets. Mm. Mm. You know what she told me? She said she's going to stop doing individual tarot readings because she's not an astrologist. And she told me, what well, she said in the video, that we are all of the signs. She blew my mind with that. So now I'm about to be on the extensive research search on being all of the signs. So that really just blew my mind. I don't even lie, y'all. That blew my mind. That, that we are all of the signs. And now I have, y'all can go look her up to Queen Cup. Well, she said, she said, leave Frank and Pence. Straight from the mother of frankincense, honey child. She got the whole little set, the whole... You know what? When I get my set, I'm going to have it in here. I'm going to have the smoke blowing. Because I kind of like the smoke blowing too. I always... I had a stage of something burning. But the smoke blowing with a candle lit, let's do it. Uh, can we clarify? Who is this King of Cups ancestor? Who is this King of Cups? Who is this King of Cups in this? Yes, can you clarify who this King of Cups is? The hair of fine. Oh, we didn't do energy. So all of this cup stuff is usually Cancer, Leo, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Because you know we love books. We water and we love books. That's what we are. And here go another cup. But then at the same time, we have... <sighs> It is deep on who is who and who and who. But I know the sun is the Aquarius. Okay, and the lovers is the Gemini. This motherfucker right here is a Taurus. And didn't I just say a bull? And I'm talking, I just connected with a bull. And the one that thing, he's back. That's who's back, y'all. A Taurus is back. Oh. gonna leave this right here for a minute so if we're gonna say the hair front this person is back for marriage and unity he 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 it's over for him he he done he he wanna hook up for good for good if that's what this person really came back for and if we looking at what they want from you this person is coming back for a marriage. And can't say, with all of this love going on, y'all, just you just might take them back and you might have you happily ever after. I don't know, damn it. I'm just saying. The man back, the woman is back, and she ain't stopping at nothing. But in reverse, to me, he a dirty, rotten scoundrel. This is a man full of wisdom and knowledge. You know what I'm saying? He's um he's an elite person. He a, a a scholar. He's like a scholar. That's who the person is in reverse. I mean, that's who the hierophon is. He's a scholar in spirituality. Uh, he does counseling, spiritual counseling for families. He's the priest. You know what I'm saying? He's the freaking priest. And um, spiritual authority, tradition, religion, married commitment, corporate structure. So this is what this person is wants some type of structure with you. But in reverse, 
it's pertaining to the book or your person's lower self or your lower self too now you have lower self too cancer it's suppression control lack of control dogmic nature and conservatism and it's that's what this person is he don't have no sex sex oh my god self-control so I shot sex out my mouth. That that could be what his problem is. He could be a horn dog. Ooh, cause look, 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 look. I didn't even see this. Up. Look, some it look like an octopus holding on to his leg. So he do have some type of addiction. Oh my God, the disrespect of it all. He has some type of addiction, and you know what? It could be by. I'm not. I'm not. Oh God. I'm not saying this in a way. This could be something you don't even know. He or she could be by. Cancer. You could be by. I ain't saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying it could be a secret. It's probably something you don't know. And that's what's probably holding on to him. He probably could want to tell you that. He probably want to let out who he really is and have his unity with you. Damn, that's deep. But something, something got him by the leg. Something got him by the leg. It could be sex. It could be drugs. It could be the lust for money. It could be anything. Lust for anything. Something got him by the doggone leg. And he's trying to move forward into a unity with you. But this octopus, whoever is the octopus in a person's life, got him by the leg. So be careful while here. Be safe and be careful because... La, 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 can't trust nobody. You just can't. Can you clarify who this temperance is and what this temperance is about? Oh, strength card. Oh, that came out fast. So, I'm going to read it like this. I'm going to look at it as you, you, you don't have the strength to... Or you believe you don't have the strength to heal this heartbreak. You don't believe you had the strength to stand up against this, this love. Or you don't believe in this love. Or you probably sitting up here not believing that you can have a love or heal this heart. You don't believe you will ever heal this broken heart. Cancer, you will. You healing it now. You don't even know that you're healing it. And it's your Leo part. You got to heal your Leo part. Because you want to know why I say the Leo be the negative part in our reading? Because we're love. Leo is fire. We're love. We're love and light. To me, Leo is fire and mayhem. And fire ain't always bad. Because fire is equivalent to passion sometimes. Sometimes fire is just exactly what the F it is. A sick, twisted mf -er. But... This You need to heal your Leo side. And your Leo side can be the shadow that you need to heal. You need to heal some more. And right now, your shadow is heartbreak. All roads lead to this heartbreak. Heal that heartbreak. And, you know, start talking to that loved one that passed on. Start embracing them. Or your person is dealing with a dog on Leo. And it looks like it's over with him. It's either over with that Leo or he's trying to get the hell away from the Leo. Or she trying to get away from him. Like, it's something that's dead with this Leo. It was a heartbreak with the Leo. Something happened. They stressed out. Something happened over here. <laughs> I'm about to say, something happened over here with y'all. Something happened. Something was passed out, and they trying to come back. Let's see who this Ace of Cups is, okay? We about to see who this Ace of Cups is. Can you tell us who this Ace of Cups is? Oh my God, so Leo. Can you tell us who this Ace of Cups is? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, hold on. Now, y'all not about to play us. The moon in reverse is clarifying them. Uh, what is this? The Ace of Cups. Y'all tell me what the heck that shit mean to y'all. You trying to tell me Ace of Cups got secrets too? 
Come on now. I mean, see, see, this, now we about to be in the indecisions and shit in the upright because now you going to flick this on us like that, Mother Nature. And then you want us to figure out who the heck to pick. So what do we do? We just walk away from both of the goofballs? Clarify this moon. Clarify this moon. For example. What is this moon about? Look at this judgment. Okay. All these are kind of... I ain't gonna even lie. All these major arcanas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You got seven major arcanas. What the hell going on, y'all? See, it's that moon. That moon, it came out and got us all together. That moon ain't no joke, man. Y'all, don't be playing with the moon. Okay, what I'm looking at. The moon. <laughs> no, no, yesterday. Yesterday, I went to St. Andrews, my homegirl. We were supposed to be getting a cup of cocktails, right? But he didn't set up here at this bar and acted a nigga fool. I ain't gonna even lie. We acted a fool to the point the Becky, the Karen across from her, us, she kept looking at us. Now, both of us kept on saying, why does she keep looking at us? So, I had told my homegirl, I'm like, she want to come over here. She does not want to be with that husband. And she don't want to be with that daughter. She wants to come over here. Because she think after we get up, she, we about to go wind up being with some black cops, right? And if she was over here with us, she can wind up with a black cop. Dog, no, we was dying. So, no sooner than that, she finally looked at us. Because we was arguing about the bill. And my homegirl, I don't want you to pay for me. I'm like, girl, listen here. This is her birthday. Put all her drinks on my shit. Because she'd been drinking. That girl was drinking way more than me. I did two drinks. Because you know my trainer. Don't play. But I did two drinks. And that was only because of her birthday. But I'm like, put all her drinks on my bill. I don't want you to pay nothing. Look, you put my drinks on my bill. You pay my bill. And you put her drinks on my bill too. I'm like, is you crazy? Long story short, the girl had came back. The waiter came back talking about, um, I was like, put all her drinks on my bill, okay? And she was like, oh, I thought you meant just put the, the, the avocado bomb. I'm like, no, put all her drinks on here. And then she was like, okay. She was like, oh, I thought you, I was like, shh, and you know, I was like, be quiet, be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. Because I didn't want to go back and forth with her no more. She's like, okay, I got you. I got you. I'm like, okay. Good thing you got me. You understand the situation here. Anyway, back to this. Okay, the moon in reverse in here is depression, delusion, fear, isolation, addiction, anxiety, and deception. Okay. And in the upright is intuition, psychic ability, dream states, creativity, secrets, and psychic. How many times are they going to say lucidicity? Whatever. And then we got judgment. Y'all gonna have to tell me what judgment means to y'all confirming a moon in reverse. Denial, bad choices, lack of pur purpose, fear, anxiety, and stagnation. You want to know what? Hey, cancer. Listen to this. Didn't they say this was an illusion? Didn't they say a moon is illusion? This is illusion with this person. This person about to come in like he the Don Juan. Like he the Ace of Cups, boo. But he got secrets and he got issues. And the universe was like, mm-mm. We letting you know right now he on some fuckery. He coming in like, all my life I had to fight. And I wanted you. But deep down, I want something from you. No. So you know what? It been it's probably foot flopped the king and i ain't gonna lie a king probably the king probably have a love that he still think about and he probably is in his head about approaching you so this is probably a new person cancer this is the new person the king is and because he had this little bit of an attachment it makes him a king instead of the ace but this is a new person, seem like. And he's he's a little indecisive with his approach with you. But he's open to it with you, I believe. And he's looking for 
the final countdown. It's it for him. He want a marriage. He want a relationship. He he trying to pop off with you. He ain't with the shits. Okay, but this heifer over here, he like dun dun dun. dun. And you know, this is probably the bull. This is probably the one that's back. And he making it seem like you're she making it seem like I'm back. I want it all with you. I love you. I miss you. They probably making it seem like all of this, but deep down, motherfucker got issues. Motherfucker got issues. He got secrets. He got illusions. He got fantasies. He 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 got one, two, three, four, five chicks. He got all types of stuff going on. And, and you don't want it. It ain't what you want. You back. He back to test your gangster. And guess what? Judgment gonna get called on him. If you carry this right, and honestly, this is his judgment. You knowing his bull crap. This is his judgment. You knowing his secrets, his bullshit, and what he about to come back with. I'm sorry if I keep saying he, y'all. Please don't judge me. But her ass, her ass, no. That she full of shit. Oh, yeah, could y'all please tell me another reading y'all want me to do? Did I ask y'all that already? Tell me somebody else y'all want me to do. Because people is uh, paying me to do readings and asking me to do certain stuff, and I just can't even believe it. Like, okay, I'm doing it. Denial, bad choices, lack of purpose, fear, anxiety, and stagnation. So, yeah, they, <laughs> they want to come pull the wool over your eyes. Because of the bad decisions they made. So, but you know what, Cancer? Whoever this other person is, the person that getting came back cups, they probably went to somebody else over you thinking they was about to have a bag <laughs> or they was about to have this great fantasy love. You know what I'm saying? They was about to have a white picket fence. But like I've been saying since the beginning of the year, the moon is exposing all year long. It's not about to be in airy season or Capricorn. It's not in none of that. It's in all of it. All year exposing. The, the moons and the planets is lined up in the most unusual way it's ever. To me, this is the most full moons I have seen so early in a year. Before I came aware of what a full moon really, really is. And what all you can do in the full moon. But at the end of the day, this right here, all, all their secrets are exposed. You already know their secrets. So you sit up there and mess with this person and try to act like you don't know this person's secrets. That's your karma. That's whatever happened to you, knowing what I just said and what you just found out, that's your bad. You want to be stupid. I'm about to do a seven card clarity for this whole reading. Let me see what judgment is called on. Let's see. What is judgment called on with this person? Let me clarify this judgment card in the base. Seven of Cups. Illusions again. This nigga was chasing money. This is a money hungry thought. Look at her. This is a money hungry chick. She kept running behind dudes for money. And none of them gave her what she needed. She never really knew how to love. Hey. How to love. That's what happened with this person. And this might be your past person. This might be this new person, dog. But it's nothing else to say after this kind of stuff right here. It's really nothing else to say. You want to know why you need the extra clarity over here? Because he, 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 he was a fake. He was a fraud. She was false. She came back. She came back like she 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 loved you. She wanted you and she missed you. But this person don't love nobody but all of this. The glitz and the glam. And it ain't gonna stop at nothing to get it. Okay? They want all of those cups. And that's fine. We all should. But they stopping at nothing to get it. They taking down whoever they need to take down to get it. But it ain't doing nothing but causing bad karma for them. And you don't want to be around when that karma hit you. I ain't got time to put people in their palm either, my boo. We're not about to do that today. I'm about to do a seven card spread right quick on the overall energy. Can you give me an overall conclusion for my cancers with this spread? Can you give me an overall conclusion? Because it done went down. This person see all of this with you. Because where they went and they thought it was popping like that. 
they didn't get it. They didn't get what they was looking for. Back with the sun again. I think was that the sun? I'm sorry, yeah. Can you give me some conclusion energy for my people? Okay. They, ooh, that's a dirty, dirty, dirty dupe, dupe. The Ace of Spectres. This a dirty dog, y'all. I ain't lying. Can I get some more? Give me some more for my Cancer Leo cups. And imagine you, that could be a male or a female. Ooh, the two of unks. Ooh, that two of cups fell out on top of the two of cups in a totally different day. This person is mad. This person, big mad. They didn't get what they want. They wanted a two of cups. A, a family has been broken and divided or what they thought was about to be a family or they want it so bad with you. This is crazy. I don't know. This mess crazy. Come on now. Y'all got to start telling me what y'all are seeing this stuff. Like, tell me what y'all see. Because this two of cups in reverse on top of the deck with the two of cups and the lovers. Come on now. What's going on, y'all? I guess no. Inclusion energy from my country. Seven whole days. I don't know why that sound stuck in my head. And what other sun stuck in my head? Uh, oh, two or so. Oh, it's going down in this deck. Like, it seems like this whole deck is in reverse, is it? Because if it is, it's some bull. No, it's not, though. No, it's not. Can I have some energy for my pencil? Be okay. Can you spread these cards? And just, just can you give me a conclusion. <laughs> I don't know which way it went, but this is what it is. To expect if somebody and left the situation about to move on. We about to put it back in the deck so it come back out because I don't know what that, that how that went down. Somebody moving on from something, y'all. Is that you? Did you leave cancer? Did you get over it? You left it alone? You moved on? Somebody gone. And they leaving cups behind them too. Oh, look at the nun. Oh, somebody jacked up in this piece. This is a whole reversal spread. I get one more card. Give me one more card. whole bag messed up. Listen here. Um, as you can see, look who at the bottom. The devil. I mean, death. <sighs> okay, we got that. The ace, ace of Spectre, so we're going to call it the Ace of Swords. The Two of Cups. This is Two of Unks. The Two of Swords. Wait, no. Nah. So the ace of specters is the wands? Wands. The two of wands. I mean, the ace of wands in reverse. The two of cups is the two of unks in reverse. The two of swords in reverse. <laughs> the eight of unks is the two, the eight of cups in reverse. The nun in reverse. The ten of swords. And then we got the seven of specters. So specters is pinnacles. Is it? Yeah. Specters. Oh, this is scrubs. So this is pinnacle. Seven of pinnacles in reverse. So see, you know what? I should have led with this deck because this deck always throw you off to the loop. But what I'm going to do is read who the nun is. Because the rest of these cards you can pretty much look up on your own. <sighs> I mean, there's some messed up shit right here. The nun in reverse is isolation, paranoia, loneliness, 
reclusiveness, antisocial, emotional withdrawal, and paralysis. This person is this this whoever this is, dog, is going through hell. Okay, and this is what they don't want you to see, don't want you to know, and don't 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 fall for it. They might come back to you and try to act like they live in their best life and they are okay. And this person is not okay, Cancer. They're not okay. And, and you, I understand. Trust me, you probably hate her guts. I know you do because I hate her for you. Okay, I hate her. I can't stand her. But no, just, just, just listen if you can't do nothing else. Don't exert yourself. If they come back, just listen. Don't fight. Don't argue. Don't put your emotions in it because I hope you done healed. Healed enough to be able to handle this. Because uh, you're going to have to be healed in order to handle this kind of mass. This person is through. This is the... What's the story? The Dark Knight of Swords. This person is out here on a loose. And, and, and they're coming to the mother of astrology. The father of astrology help i i really believe the person is back for help mental physical 3d and 5d help this person is f to f up because guess what it looks like on some real stuff this person chose to try to have a family with somebody else over you right and it backfired and this whole reading could be about somebody else. Somebody who tried to have different families over you. And all roads led right back to you. Because these people weren't pouring into their cup. He kept trying to pour. He taking from, she taking from your cup, pouring it into the ocean. Pouring it to other people instead of pouring it with you. So it seemed like this person had lost a family. He had lost a lover. He had lost a, a, a real confidant, a friend. He had been in some child, some mayhem. He, his money is messed up. This situation that he was in is dead, though. It's dead. And if it resurfaces, it's going to resurface for vengeance. But it's dead. Either he going to get the heck out of Dodge or he going to double back and they going to take him all the way down. But it's really dead. He was in his head about it. He was in his head about what decision he was going to freaking make. To me, it looked like he finally walked away and left everything behind him. He depressed and lonely. This, this I don't even want to be in this doggone energy. This is when you just mess up the whole day. But I ain't going to do that because y'all got to read this. I want y'all to tell me what the heck y'all think this is. And, you know, do, do, do to this moon, we about to do this moon oracle and get it popping. But homegirl messed up. Whoever she is, she messed up. Whoever this is, they threw, y'all. They messed up. This is somebody you just hug. I don't even want to hear what you got to say, boy. Here it is. <laughs> So maybe this person is back for this, this healing. Maybe they back for a marriage. Maybe they back because they do believe that you can help them better. Or they, they, they I, I don't know what he back for. Did nothing go their way. Nothing go their way. Whoever this person is, is divine, defined in the universe. And the universe had to show them the hard way. That you don't get no bigger than me. Can I get some uh, moon energy for my cancer? Leo cuts. A fiery com complex approaches. Full moon in Aries. Whoa, baby. And that's exactly what it is. It's a, a fiery climax approaches. I'm scared. We got to do one more. But that was enough. I don't even think. No, it ain't meant for me to do another one. The universe is telling me to stop. We about to read this. Mm, it's not letting me push out another card. 
page 68. We about to get this out and we about to get this over with. It says, it's time to see if you've been a little bit too much. Me, 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 me. Oh, there's a tug of war going on between what you want and what someone else wants. But you'll have to wait a little while to see what's going, going to happen next. As you wait, ask yourself if you've been handling the situation as sensitive, as sensitively as you could have done. Wow. If you know deep down that you've been a little rash or harsh, gone too fast, or overstepped the mark, then accept that on some level you've created this situation yourself, which means you can create your way out of it too, period. When this card comes up, a peak is coming and it could be fiery. Oh, it say be nice, be kind, smile, be polite as you na navigate to where you want to be. Being assertive is good. Just don't ride roughshod over anyone. Damn. If you're in a tense situation, meditate your way to peace. Don't be a baby. Sorry, but this could be the issue. You need to have more fun. They say the full moon in Aries is a super fiery time when emotions can run very high. On the upside, there's excitement about what may lie ahead, but tempers are likely to flare. The rash comments or decisions, no matter when you pull this card, it signals that the situation has just or is about to come to a peak, perhaps in a rather heated way. There could be a price to pay if you have been too competitive or too blunt. Well, you know what? Hey, that just scared the shit out of me, okay? So listen, <laughs> when 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 whoever that is come back, remember I told you just listen? Just listen. Because this person about to come back and they about to fight. They probably about to turn your whole world upside down. If you try to reject them, if you get too high and mighty, if you if you, you start talking about you got a man and you dating somebody, they about to kill, steal, and destroy. I'm telling y'all, dude, just be humble. Just talk them down off a ledge. Because they so messed up in their life. You and your ego and you might be all they got left cancer on some real crap this person is so screwed up in their life and you might be the last person they got and if you go off on your high hiatus okay if you go into your 100 percent divine mind i'm not telling you to come off your pedestal for this person i'm just saying by this person vibrating so low it don't even make no sense for you to give it to them just listen just listen a simple okay and walk away because cancer i i know i know i know you 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 know how to trip on y'all y'all know how to go hard and people always think because we the mama and the daddy what do the mama and daddy do who is the mama and daddy she will beat your beat mama will beat your ass and daddy will fuck you up too if you get too far out of line and Kansas, I know your mouth is treacherous. I dare you say it ain't. You got a tre you got a ruthless, a fatal mouth. Your mouth is so fatal, or somebody will go jump off a cliff. Seriously, somebody will kill themselves. But with that being said, y'all, um, let me be at peace. Be humble. Ask the, the universe to guide you. Wear a lot of protection with this person too. Get every kind of protection you can think of. Put them, put crystals in your titties, okay? Put them in your panties, in your butt crack. I don't care what you do. Just protect yourself whenever this person come back in your world because it's about to go down. I'm sorry. This too shall pass. Love y'all.